Hello, my name is Alex Salter, digital artist, and today in this tutorial I'm going to be going, showing you the my workflow of how I went about researching and start uh, creating the female torso and the study of it. I'll be showing my research, my, my workflow in general, uh, how I got down the base basic fundamentals of modeling it, structuring it and planning it before I then take the uh, low poly base mesh into ZBrush to hide to do the high detail pass um, and then so on. In this I'll do it'll be a three part overview tutorial mostly for documentation and this first part I'm going to be showing you my research as you can see in front of you uh, my rough workflow of how to create low poly uh, and that's about it and my final low poly mid poly at the moment and my plan for the future uh, part two, like I said, will be all ZBrush related with it, and part three will be compositing, adding props, and uh, doing the 360 turntable presenting of the final piece. As you can see, my research I've researched orthographical views of the female form, I've researched geometry and dif different typologies, and how people have done it, and different uh, upper body shoulder um, poses which the female form can do. And, where it, um, it looks interesting. I will probably have my model sculpt appearing like it's been sculpted out of a stone plinth or anything like that. You can see the different methods people have taken in modeling in my research, it's quite in depth research, the different renders which people have done. Uh, and just a rough, nice, nice uh, view of different ways people uh, have taken on such a, a, a project and their way of doing stuff. I've got a lot of different researches um, which I've done but I haven't shown, I don't need to show you that currently. As you can see now this is the method in which I talk in modeling. So in modeling my basic low poly. So first of all I started off in my with a nerve sphere. It's a good way of working. It's I feel it, it for this project because I've got six weeks left there's no problem doing it this way. You can just go from a cube but this way is fast. Image planes are good to work from. Three image planes gives you three views front side and back but the limit it limits you it's better I feel if you've got enough time if you do it like this where you model the, the female form or whatever you're modeling with nerves you then in the perspective you get a full form a full quite accurate figure in free in all views including the three quarter view and everything where you can then trace off and then follow uh, in the perspective view as well as all the uh, image plane views so Roughing it out fast using nerve spheres really helps with rough proportion and gives you a good sense in, of the 3D, actual 3D of uh, perspective which your model will look like. As you can see that's what I've done here. I've got a nice understanding of the basic muscle placement and it really it really helps doing this because now I can now bring in my cube and start to rough in the correct geometry there as you can see roughed in the correct shapes really fast um, where I can then start to really refine and add edge loops and start to really get in the correct geometry and all the correct key typology areas because it's vital that you understand the um, the flow of the the geometry and you you understand where the key uh, quadru the where the key uh, quads have to be so that your mesh flows easily from upper body to lower body to uh, thigh and to arm and all the geometry flows correctly all the edge loops flow um, just right and you uh, and for, for the low poly as you can see I've done here with the collarbone and the back and the, the back of the thigh and the buttocks and how it all just starts to be roughed in slowly and then obviously I've reached the final um, low poly mid poly this is geometry is just about perfect now to take into ZBrush to high detail. I will probably pose it in ZBrush a bit better. I was thinking about rigging it in Maya so I can pose it fast, but I'll probably do that in ZBrush. Uh, it's about ready to go in to be final to be a high detailed in there. The geometry is nicely spread out and um, the typology is it, there's a nice distribution of shape uh, sizes um, in relation to the. Uh, the area of the torso, the area of torso in, that we're talking about. Uh, hopefully, it will go well. 
I don't really uh, see why I won't. I've got um, six weeks left for this. I'm documenting it all in the blog, so it should be pretty good. Here's a my shot of it. Um, as you can see, with the the developmental uh, typology from those two, as I build it up, and this final one, I'm roughly comfortable with moving this on now. I probably won't. I'll probably do a few other torso studies as well in the six weeks. You can see how the, the typology curves there, and you can see all these key quadrilaterals, especially that one there, which helps. You can see it's got four different lanes of quadrilaterals which go into it, and the same for the one for here, the one which goes up along the side of the body and goes underneath the buttocks. That quadrilateral is really important that you model that incorrectly, and the same for just above there. These ones are the ones which give you, you know, enable you to then model good definition and shape into the model and into the mesh whereas just doing straight lines or straight lines of quads won't work and the same for the upper part of the back for the uh, shoulder blades there's a collarbone there's a quadrilateral there which lets you link up one which runs straight vertically down the breast that one also lets you link up so uh, you can create that and there's uh, one just at the top right of the breast which swoops underneath and also goes underneath the uh, the underneath of the arm. These are vital um, areas of typology which uh, well and, and well of, of thank you for watching part one of um, how to create the female torso and model it and I will get started on part two.